shoot an intro quick. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. It is another extreme spring cold front. We are absolutely plagued by these in and out cold fronts, warm fronts, everything like that. But we're out here today as myself, got my good buddy Steve with, and we were targeting some walleyes up here in Northern Wisconsin. And what do we, our previous slip hour videos have all been done on rock. And uh, rock's a great place to find walleyes and a lot of this kind of spring to summer transition stuff. A lot of times they'll sit in that mid-depth rock. They'll also sit on weeds a lot. And what I really want to showcase today is how effective Hummingbird Mega 360 is for fishing this style of fishing, where you're fishing a very isolated target. When we're fishing rock, a lot of times, you know, I kind of know right where the sweet spot is, so I'll cast at it. When we're fishing weeds and walleyes relating to sand and weeds, having a tool like 360 to make repetitive casts at those fish, absolutely crucial. So that's what we're going to showcase today. I think we're mostly going to be slip bobber and leech fishing. Um, it's pretty big, massive cold front waters. Continue to drop in temperature, so um, a stagnant presentation like a slip bobber and a leech is going to be definitely pretty effective. So we're going to kind of buzz down this big weed edge here. We're going to look for some fish, and uh, once we find them, that's kind of where we drop down the 360 and really start picking that school apart. Every piece of electronics you have in the boat is always a tool. Side imaging is phenomenal at finding fish. And a lot of times I use the 360 once I find those fish to kind of follow them around a small area. So stay tuned. Like I said, we got to find some fish here in a second. Hopefully some bobbers will be going down. See them all right behind us. Just follow them from the side to the back. Yeah. As you spot them. And there we go. I just took a screenshot for you guys on this pot of fish straight back. We dumped the bobbers back and there they go. Now, what you just saw us do is we pulled up to the spot, saw the fish on side imaging and I immediately spot locked. Obviously the boat swung and now those fish are straight behind us. We threw that first bobber out and immediately went down just kind of your average size 15 inch eater here. But you can see how effective that is. Now, you can still see some back there. They're kind of at the peri perimeter of our of our 360 here. And we're just kind of fishing a big sand to weed transition. Not a big one right there, just kind of your average eater size cold front walleye. And Steve's got one too now. And all we're doing is just gonna keep casting straight back, chasing these fish um, on the 360. And if they move, we'll know. Um, and wherever their, their position changes, we can just keep following them here. Or if you just side it, or if you just side image those fish spot lock, those fish are behind you. At that point, you'd have no idea where those fish are once you spot lock because you can't see backwards. And I'm sure we're just going to catch a ton of the exact same size fish today. Um, based on the weather, there's a little bit nicer one right there. But uh, a lot of times in these big cold fronts, you see a lot of the same size fish. And there's just another kind of cookie cutter cold front day 16 entry right there and just like that in basically no time at all we have two fish in the boat just kind of pinpointing them with the 360. I just hate when the bobbers blowing that fast. What's that? I always hate when the bobbers just fly through the zone. Oh, we got one going down. Got them right there. <laughs> just saw those fish off the right side. We were kind of fishing a little more behind us. And I'll kind of take a shot for you guys here as we're fighting this guy. They're right out on the fringe of the screen. This might be a little bit, unless it's a bass, it might be a a little better walleye here. We'll see. Unless he's just really giving her. That's a nice walleye. Exactly what we're after. And this kind of situation where you're fishing an area that has sand where you traditionally be using a lot of side imaging is such a great time to be running 360 and really capitalizing on watching the way these fish move like this. 
And like I always say, side imaging, phenomenal tool for finding fish. Been using it for years and years. Still a great tool for finding fish. But as far as following those fish around, doing it with 360 is just incredibly, incredibly powerful. There we go. There's another nice walleye. Let's let that guy go. River systems. Great tree bobber bite. Yeah. Great lead core bite. Hooked up right there. Going straight back. We'll kind of throw up the screenshot right here. Another nice walleye right there. <laughs> He's jumping like a bass. And you can see how effective this is. I mean, we have not been fishing for very long at all. And these fish are really moving a lot. So actually, we've only caught, I think, two fish out of one school so far. And each of these other fish we've caught have been out of separate school. And all we're doing, like I said, we're not wasting any time. We're just going around, waiting until we see fish on the side imaging, spot locking, casting at those fish on the 360. We got a 70 foot ring. We can see these fish around around the boat. And uh, if they disappear, we move on. Or if they're still sitting there, we just continue to cast at a different angle to make sure our baits are 100% of the time always in fish. And there's another one right there. <laughs> and you know it's effective when it's like this. I mean, it's just unbelievable. There's certain things that come around, whether that's a directional sonar unit, um, you know, like a lot of the stuff you see now with Garmin or, or those things. I would say that this is far more effective tool for this style of fishing because it totally changes the way you position on a lot of these fish. And there's another one right there, or on the board. Not big ones here, we're getting a lot of these kind of frontal day sized walleyes. And if you fish a lot for walleyes, you will notice that when it is very, very cold out and you get these big cold fronts, you end up getting a lot of fish that are a lot of times those smaller size. But generally the bigger females are much more susceptible to a lot of these big cold fronts. But hey, we have not been out here for very long. We're catching a whole bunch of fish today on one of these huge cold fronts. And even when you have these huge cold fronts, catching fish in cold fronts really comes down to the basics and especially keeping your bait in fish for a lot longer period of time. We're not fishing a presentation that's moving through these fish very quickly or fishing a static bobber. And having something like 360 where we know we can keep that bait in fish just ups our odds incredibly in a cold front. All right, so basically the way 360 works is instead of side imaging where we're just reading straight sideways and it's refreshing as we move or if the boat sits still, it more scrolls to update. 360, I get a full basically circle of what's around me and as that screen refreshes it keeps showing what's there and what's not there so if we got a pot of fish like we do right behind us right now they're going to show up right back there 40 feet 45 feet like they are right now if we move or the fish move you know those fish will obviously clear off the screen so like let's say we'll kind of do a little overlay here on the drone footage but let's say we got fish over here we obviously reel in a bobber and we reposition right over there and it really does take all the guesswork out of it. Or before what I used to do is I used to get on the troll motor and I used to kick my boat sideways and spin it around. Now all I have to do is let's say I see fish right over here, take that slip bobber and I can see how many feet those fish are away and pitch directly to them. Whether that's off the bow, whether that's off the stern, whether that's off the left side, right side, whatever direction those fish are, it'll show me, right? And your direction up is up. So, you know, I always call it 12 o'clock is right off the bow, obviously, six o'clock is right off the back, nine o'clock and three o'clock. So a lot of times you can really, really pinpoint exactly where these fish are at just by watching that circle refresh, seeing where those fish are and continue to pick apart that school of fish. All right, bobber down. Got him right there. A lot of head shaking right away. Got to be a walleye though. Uh, I don't know. Might be a bass. Most time, I think most of the bass are probably spawning right now, but I don't know. It's got to be a walleye. Oh yeah, real nice walleye here. Definitely a nicer one of the day. We'll throw up a screenshot right here of that pot of fish. And uh, not a lot of fish in this spot, but you can see a few of them back there. And we're just kind of chasing him around. We might even net this guy. Just so we don't lose him, he, he might be our thumbnail fish. My thumbnail, oh my gosh, he's just jumping like a bass. There we go. Awesome, just another quality fish here. And we actually moved to kind of a calmer side of the lake here. Oh, there he goes. But uh, like I said, all we're doing is just graphing them on side imaging chasing them around with 360, kind of constantly moving the bobbers around. And uh, 
one thing you'll notice if you get 360 is you spend almost more time sitting there with the bait in your hand waiting to cast <laughs> than you do with your bait in the water but no point in putting a bait where there's not fish so there's a nice walleye right there we'll take them like that all afternoon long let's let that guy go too cool up shallow on a lot of these sand and weed areas plenty of fish around Hooked up right there, fish on. Just came into this hump. Had some smaller fish kind of pecking at the baits. I think some of these spots we got some little dinker uh, perch and rock bass around, but here's another really nice walleye for, for the day. And we were just talking how it's surprising that even though conditions are what we are, we are catching fish. This is by no means as... I can scoop them up. This is by no means as fast as the action can be this time of year, but given the enormous cold front, we're not doing too bad. And a lot of that is obviously due to the fact we're making sure every single time we cast a bait out, it's right on top of a fish <laughs> or within a few feet of a fish. And there's a really nice fish right there. And that is just exactly, exactly what we are after. You got that leech and I say it in every video but one reason I really like fishing jigs on these slip bobbers is because you end up hooking a lot of fish not nearly as deep you can probably see how this fish is hooked oh right here it's hooked right on the roof of his mouth and a lot of times if you're just running single hooks which are obviously effective on slip bobbers one problem you run into is just how deep those fish can really suck that when it's just absolutely no weight on there there we go another gorgeous big time cold front walleye right there we'll let him go too cool. Take them. It's all you. There we go. I just just caught that last fish. Casted that bobber to right where the first one went down. And that's when you know you're on them. And there's actually, you can see a pot of fish right there. And this is where technology, I guess, meets fish catching. And just another really nice fish. These last few have been a much better average size. We kind of move spots to a different area and slightly better results. There we go, another nice fish right there. Can't beat it. All right, well that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Really wanted to kind of do a walkthrough on the 360 and kind of show you guys just how crucial it is. You've seen me do some slip bobber videos now or probably several videos where you haven't seen me use the 360. Just like anything else, it's a tool and you use it very situationally and where it's effective, it's unbelievably effective. For fishing a lot of very thick rock, <clears throat> it's not necessarily you know gonna be your number one tool in the box for that kind of thing. Where you're just kind of working over a massive area not necessarily looking for fish. Any kind of fishing where you're doing a very isolated target type of fishing where you're continually casting at, let's say, one big rock, or in this scenario, we're just casting right at pods of fish and you could pick them out on the 360. We're driving down these big spots, we're looking for fish on the side imaging. Once we see them, we're spot locking and then we're following around and casting towards those fish wherever they show up on the Hummingbird 360. So appreciate you guys watching this video. Hopefully this one was kind of beneficial for you guys. Um, we'll definitely be doing some more content like this. I know you guys like seeing a lot of this technology and how we're using it to catch more fish. And uh, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this one. So stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the ones we've been posting. Looks like we got another bobber going down right now or it was going down for a second. We're gonna do a little fun fishing and uh, stay tuned because we got some trips to some new locations coming up. This is actually, I think the last video I'll post um, from up here for a little while. So stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys next time.